स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन टू डोजेस फॉर्म सो या द कंटेंट्स इंट्रोडक्शन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ डोजेस फॉर्म इन विच वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सॉलिड डोजेस फॉर्म लिक्विड डोजेस फॉर्म एंड सेमी सॉलिड डोजेस फॉर्म एंड द न्यूट्रिक डिल्यूट सिस्टम ओके सो डोजेस फॉर्म दैट मीन्स बाय विच ड्रग मॉलिक्यूल और एक्टिव फार्मास्यूटिकल इन्ग्रीडियंट्स आर डिलीवर्ड टू साइट ऑफ एक्शन विद इन द बॉडी टू प्रोड्यूस ऑप्टिमम डिजायर इफेक्ट एंड मिनिमम एडवर्स इफेक्ट ओके दैट मीन्स डोजेस फॉर्म द मेन मीनिंग ऑफ द डोजेस फॉर्म इज इन विच द ड्रग मॉलिक्यूल और एक्टिव फार्मास्यूटिकल इन्ग्रीडियंट्स आर डिलीवर्ड टू द बॉडी एंड इट द साइट ऑफ एक्शन एंड दे शो देयर मैग मिन थेरापेटिक इफेक्ट प्लस मिनिमम एडवर्स इफेक्ट ओके सो डोजेस फॉर्म डोजेस फॉर्म दैट मीन्स मेडिसिन वॉट आर द मेडिसिन सो मेडिसिन आर द कम्बिनेशन ऑफ एक्टिव फार्मास्यूटिकल इन्ग्रीडियंट्स एंड एक्सिपियंट्स दैट मीन्स बाय विच ड्रग मॉलिक्यूल्स आर डिलीवर्ड टू साइट ऑफ एक्शन विद इन द बॉडी ओके ड्रग ड्रग दैट मीन्स अ केमिकल एंड टाइटी विच यूज फॉर डायग्नोसिस ट्रीटमेंट एंड प्रिवेंशन ऑफ डिजीजेस ओके एंड हेयर इज वन वन मोर डेफिनेशन ऑफ ड्रग दैट इज द एक्टिव फार्मास्यूटिकल इन्ग्रीडियंट्स इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ एनी ड्रग दैट प्रोड्यूसेज इट्स इफेक्ट सो नेक्स्ट वन इज एक्सिपियंट्स एक्सिपियंट्स डो नॉट इंक्रीज और डो नॉट अफेक्ट द थेरापेटिक एक्शन ऑफ एक्टिव फार्मास्यूटिकल इन्ग्रीडियंट्स एंड इनएक्टिव इन्ग्रीडियंट मे ऑल्सो बी रिफर टू एज इनर्ट इन्ग्रीडियंट्स और एक्सिपियंट्स एंड जनरली हैव नो फार्माकोलॉजिकल इफेक्ट ओके सो देर आर वेरियस एक्सिपियंट्स लाइक बाइंडिंग एजेंट्स डाइज प्रिजर्वेटिव फ्लेवरिंग एजेंट वहीकल स्वीटनिंग एजेंट ऑल आर द एक्सिपियंट्स Uh, direct clinical use of active drug substances is rare why uh, we can not uh, directly use active drug substances uh, for, because active pharmaceutical ingredients handling and accurate dosing can be difficult or impossible okay like uh, see if you have a powder of paracetamol the bulk powder okay the pure form so uh, you cannot administer in accurate dose Uh, so it is very difficult that's why we prepare paracetamol tablet and then we administer it uh, next is active pharmaceutical ingredients administration can, ad, uh, can be impractical or unfeasible because of size shape smell order or taste and low activity uh, some active pharmaceutical ingredients are chemically unstable in light or moisture or sometimes with oxygen uh so it there is change uh, there are there are the chances of uh, degradation of the active pharmaceutical ingredients okay uh, active pharmaceutical ingredients may cause local irritation or local injury when they are present at high concentration at the site of administration okay so that's why we need to uh, Uh, that's why we need to form the doses form okay so uh, first reason uh, why we need to prepare doses form it provides safe and uh, convenient delivery of accurate doses like tablet capsule syrups uh, next one is protection of a drug substances from atmospheric oxygen or moisture like coated capsules sealed ampules etc next is uh, doses form give protection of drug substances from gastric acid after oral administration like uh, if you uh, if you want to uh, administer a medicine which show their action on the intestine uh, but uh, when we administer it uh, so it passes through the gastric uh, uh, stomach okay so there in stomach there is a gastric acid so uh, there uh, in gastric uh, in the stomach there is a gastric acid uh, there are gastric acids are present so uh, in that case the tablet will uh, completely absorb on that part on the stomach so we need to uh, we need to prepare uh, this kind of doses form which passes through the stomach without any uh, destruction okay next one is conceal bitter taste or odor of drug substances like capsule coated tablets flavored syrup etc and it provide liquid preparation of drug that insoluble or unstable in the desired vehicle like suspension and uh, provide liquid doses form of substances soluble in uh, desired vehicle like solutions okay uh, next is 
uh, provide it, uh, doses can provide optional drug action from a topical administration side like ointment, cream, ear, nasal preparations. And it provides extended drug action through controlled release mechanisms like uh, controlled release tablet, capsule, suspensions. And it provides the optimum drug action through inhalation therapy like inhalants and placement of drug within body tissues like implants. Okay. So here is the classification of doses form. So based on two uh, different uh, classes, first one is it based on the route of administration and second one is based on physical form. So first one is based on route of administration. So in based of route of admission, there are various route for administration of doses form like oral, parenteral, topical, transdermal, respiratory or inhaled and uh, ophthalmic, uh, rectal, vaginal. Next one is based on physical form. So based on physical form, there are four classes. First one is solid doses form, semi-solid doses form, liquid doses form, gaseous doses form. Okay. So uh, as per the route of administration, first one is enteral route. Uh, enteral route, uh, so you know, in uh, oral route, first one is tablet, capsule, syrup, suspension, emulsion, dry powder inhalers or uh, pressurized metal dose inhaler like nebulizers, vaporizers are there and uh, sublingual and buccal route. So oral, uh, oral disintegrating tablets uh, also known as ODT, lozenges, ointment, toothpaste, mouthwashes are there, rectal and vaginal route, uh, ointment, suppositories, enema and retritma. Uh, for parenteral in, uh, for parenteral route, the injections or infusions are there like intravenous, also known as IV injections, IM that is intramuscular, IC that is intracardiac, uh, intraosseous, intraperitoneal, intracerebral, intrathecal, intradermal, and subcutaneous are there. Next is topical route. So in tropical route, there are three different uh, uh, classes: dermal ointment, liniment, paste, creams, lotions. Dermal patches are there. Uh, for mucosal root, uh, sorry, for mucosal membrane, ear drops, uh, ear eye drops, nasal spray, ointment, hydrogel, nanosphere suspensions are there. And uh, for percutaneous, transdermal patches are available. Okay, so base, next one is based on the physical form. So based on the physical form, uh, there are four classes, solid doses form, semi-solid doses form, liquid doses form and uh, gaseous doses form. Okay. So in solid doses form, uh, as according to the shape, there are tablet, capsule, implants, transdermal patches are there and uh, unshaped doses form uh, like uh, powders for external use or sometimes internal use also. Uh, for next one is semi-solid doses form. So in shaved suppositories are there, passeries are there. Suppositories are mostly used for the rectal administration and passeries are for uh, vagina, also known as vaginal suppositories for vaginal uh, administration. Okay. And in case of unshaped doses form, there are gels, creams, ointment and paste. Third one is liquid doses form. So in liquid doses form, there are three classes, monophysic, biphasic and external solution. So in monophysic uh, liquid doses form, solutions are there, syrup, spirit, elixirs and tinctures. And in biphasic liquid doses form, there are two uh, examples, emulsions and suspensions. Okay. Third one is external solutions. So in external solution, we use lotion, uh, liniments and collidants. Now, last one is gaseous doses form. So in gaseous doses form, there are two classes, medicinal gases and aerodispersions. So in medicinal gases, aerosols like inhalation, volatile anesthetics are there and aerodispersions in uh, anti-asthematic sprays are there. Uh, so here are the uh, classification of uh, liquid doses, uh, sorry, various doses form like solid uh, doses form unit solid like tablet capsules in bulk doses form of powder and dusting powder uh, semi solid doses form the examples are cream paste gel suppositories and uh, liquid doses form monophase in, in monophasic liquid doses form syrup solutions are there and biphasic emulsions and suspensions are there and the next one is gases so inhaler and aerosols are there okay so first one is classification of solid Okay, so here are uh, broad, uh, broad classification of uh, individual doses forms. Uh, first one is solid doses form. So for solid doses form, two classes, internal and external. Uh, in external, internal solid doses form, the examples are powder, tablet, capsules, uh, caplates, catches, and uh, pills, lozenges, pastels, granules, and 
next one is external uh, insufflations, dentifrices, snuff, air powders, and dusting powders are there. Uh, next is classification of liquids. So as we know, the liquids are class classified into two classes: monophasic liquid doses form and biphasic liquid doses form. So first one is monophasic liquid doses form. Uh, so here are liquid meant for internal administration and liquid meant for external administration. So first one is liquids meant for internal administration. That is syrup, mixture, uh, elixirs, linters. And liquid meant for external administrations are uh, applied to the skin. So, uh, what uh, the, all the examples we use uh, examples uh, liquids applied to the skin are like lotions, liniments, collidens, and paints. And the liquid used in mouth that are gargles, mouthwashes, and throat paint. Third one is liquids in, uh, instilled into body cavities that are douches, air drops, nasal drops, eye drops, and enemas. Okay. Uh, next is biphasic liquid doses form. So here are only two categories, suspension and emulsions. Uh, next classification is uh, of uh, semi-solid doses form. So three classes, ointment, creams, and gels. Okay, so oin for the ointment, uh, the preparation of ointment, we need uh, ointment bases. So here are four different bases are available for preparation of ointment base. First one is hydrocarbon base, also known as oligenous. Um, basis. Second one is absorption basis, also known as anhydrous and uh, water in oil type. Uh, uh, next is the water removal basis that is oil in water type and uh, water soluble basis. And in creams there are two classes fatty bases and emulsifiers. So emulsifiers we can use anionic emulsifier, cationic and non-ionic emulsifiers. Uh, for uh, fatty bases uh, we use hydrocarbons, hydrocarbon waxes, oligenous substances, fatty acid and alcohol for preparing, uh, preparation of fatty bases. Third one is gel. So formation of gel there are two categories are there aqueous gel and organogel. So for uh, or aqueous gel they are natural polymers semi-synthetic polymers, synthetic polymers are used for the preparation of aqueous gel and for the preparation of organogel we use lecithin based, uh, gelatin based or sorbitan ester based. Okay. Next is the classification of inhaled doses form. So inhale, uh, inhalations are uh, generally considered with two different uh, classes. First one is from lung and second one is from nose. Okay. So directly when we inhaled by nose, uh, here are four different um, doses forms are uh, available. Liquid, aerosol, semi-solid and solid. So liquids, uh, solutions, suspensions and emulsions are there. And aerosols, uh, MDIs are there. Uh, third one is... Uh, so semi-solid gels are there, solids, uh, powders for insufflations are there, okay. Uh, for, from the lung, gaseous liquid aerosol and solids are available for, so first one is gases, uh, in uh, gaseous doses from vapors and medical gases are uh, available for inhalation, liquids, uh, solutions, suspension, emulsions are there, aerosols, uh, MDIs, DPIs, other pressure systems are there, and solid DPIs are there. So first one is solid doses form, first one is tablet. So tablet it is a unit doses form or one or more medicament. It is prepared by compression method or mold method. So uh, for the preparation of tablet we use various uh, common excipients uh, like diluents, disintegrants, binders, glidant. So diluent are used to provide uh, bulkiness of tablet. Disintegrants used to ensure that the tablet break up into dis digestive tract. Binders used for important for granulation of powder. Glidant and lubricants provide good flow and ensure insufficient tableting. Sweeteners and flavors to mask the bitter taste and pigments to mask the uncoated tablet visually attractive. Uh, next is buccal and sublingual tablets. So uh, buccal tablets which place between the gums and the cheek and some lingual tablet placed under the tongue okay and the medicament of both system rapidly dissolve in the mouth and absorb through the mucous membrane of mouth 
दैट मीन्स वैन वी यूज बक्कल टैबलेट और सबलिंगल टैबलेट एग्जाम्पल्स और वैसे डायलेक्टिस एस्टोरॉडल हारमोन्स वेन एवर वी यूज बक्कल टैबलेट और सबलिंगल टैबलेट्स इफ वी आर यूजिंग बक्कल टैबलेट वी प्लेस इट बिटवीन द गम्स एंड चिक्स एंड इट दैट पर्टिकुलर प्लेस मेडिकमेंट रेपिडली डिजोल्व इट इन द माउथ एंड एब्जॉर्ब इन द म्यूकसल मैमरेन ओके ड्रग रीचेज इन द सिस्टमिक सर्कुलेशन विदाउट अफेक्टिंग बाई गैस्ट्रिक जूस एंड मेटाबोलाइजिंग एंजाइम ऑफ द लीवर नेक्स्ट इज इफरवेसन टैबलेट इफरवेसन टैबलेट दीज आर द टैबलेट्स दीज आर अनकोटेड टैबलेट्स एंड जनरली कंटेन एसिड सब्सटेंसेज लाइक सिट्रिक एसिड और टाटरिक एसिड ओके एंड वन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट दे रिलीज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड वैन इट कन कम कॉन्टैक्ट विद द वाटर और इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ वाटर एग्जाम्पल्स आर डिस्प्रिन टैबलेट्स वैन एवर वी यूज डिस्प्रिन वॉट वी डू वी टेक हाफ ग्लास ऑफ वाटर एंड एड एज अ टैबलेट एड अ डिस्प्रिन टैबलेट एंड आफ्टर Uh, few min after few uh, seconds we saw uh, bubble like uh, structures come on the surface of uh, water so that are the carbon dioxide okay uh, they are intended to be dissolved or disperse in water before use uh, and it provide uh, tablet immediately dissolve or dispersed and pleasant taste of carbonated drink Uh, next is chewable tablet as per its name these are the tablet that chewed prior to swallowing and uh, they are designated for uh, they are designed for administration to children like vitamin products or uh, uh, there is example uh, vitamin c tablets are there uh, antacids are there chewable as type antacid we take as chewable tablets next is capsule uh, so capsules are same uh, unit solid unit doses form uh, like a uh, tablet and it contains solid semi solid and liquid filled and uh, gelatin uh, in a gelatin shell and the common uh, common excipients used in uh, capsules first one is gelatin commonly used uh, as gelling agent plasticizers to ensure the elasticity or mechanical stability third one is additional additives uh, we use preservatives coloring agent or pacifying agents and the tab capsules are very, uh, uh, mainly two types hard gelatin capsule and soft gelatin capsule so hard gelatin capsule used mostly dry powder ingredients or sometime uh, granules for filling uh, but in soft gelatin capsules they are used for semi solid preparation and uh, liquid preparation for active ingredients that are dissolved or suspended in oil next is lozenges okay so lozenges are solid preparation which is used to medicate the mouth and throat for the slow administration of indigestion or cough remedies okay uh, when uh, lozenges mostly used to release the uh, throat infection or cough okay it consisting of sugar and gums the latter giving strength and cohesiveness to the lozenges and facilitating slow release of the medicaments okay uh, next is pestles so pestles are also semi solid uh, sorry solid medicaments pills or candy preparation that designed to dissolve slowly in the mouth but uh, there are uh, difference between lozenges and pastels uh, the pastels are softer as compared to lozenges and the bases for preparation of pastels uh, we use glycerol gelatin acacia okay and uh, next is dental cones so dental cones are mostly pla mainly placed in the sock empty socket or following tooth extraction uh, for preventing of uh, local multiplication of pathogenic bacteria associated with tooth extractions okay uh, these tablet contains excipients like lactose sodium bicarbonate or sodium chloride and cones may contain antibiotic or antiseptics next is pills so uh, pills it is solid to oral doses form which consist of spherical masses prepared from one or more apis with inert excipients and uh, pills are now rarely used okay uh, mostly nowadays we don't use pill or we avoid the pills okay next is oral granules so oral granules uh, these are solid doses form and consisting of solid dry aggregated powder particle uh, which have irregular shaped and uh, supply in a single sachet single dose sachet okay so some granules are placed under the tongue and swallowed with a water and other are intended to be dissolved in water before taking uh, effervescent granules are also available which evolve carbon dioxide when added to the water like dispirin tablet as we say effervescent tablet okay 
uh, oral powders so oral powders that are multi dose preparation or you can say it is a bulk powder uh, consisting of solid or dry powder of varying degree uh, degrees of uh, fineness and it contains more than one active ingredients with or without excipients and if necessary we add some coloring agent to some flavoring agents in the oral powders to mask the taste or to improve the uh, its taste okay Thank you.